Uh, Christy444, some people think Enki is a bad guy. Do you know why? Yes, I know why. Because the original Sumerian records, the original Sumerian records, oh, uh, well, let me answer this real quick. I got, I got to answer a deal from a moderator. I'm just going to say, okay. All right. Anyway. Also in my writings, my published books, and my videos, I'm very clear. The original Sumerian records were about the Anuna. 500 to 1,000 years later, they were all rewritten by the priesthood of Babylon. Only then did the Anuna get a bad rap and become the Anunnaki. And now... They flipped everything. Every god in every situation that was positive in the Sumerian traditions, the Babylonians, after the fall of Akkad, completely flipped. Yes. They, could, they, they invented religions. They did it mad. The Babylonians are the same. Well, I mean, it's, it's the same thing as what the Jews did for the Israelite scriptures. The reason the Old Testament writings resonate so strongly with, with, with a lot of us is because we're reading actual spiritual material that was composed by the ancient Israelite nations, not the Jews. It was only after the Assyrian Empire had taken the ten, the ten tribes out of Syria in northern Israel, which were called the House of Omri, the Qumri, and they took them away into captivity and put them on the Assyrian uh, domains, which we know from from history, the Assyrian horse lists are absolutely packed with Israelite names because the Assyrians realized that if we're going to have anybody train our horses, it's going to be these people in Israel because they got the horses mastered. This is where the later Simri came from, which were the Qumri. Ancient Europe was populated by these people. You know them of as Scythians or Scythians, but they come from the house of, uh, of Omri, which was in the Syria called Qumri, which later on, in, uh, by, by the time of the Macedonians, they were called the Simri. These Simris were broke into different families, which were later called Gaul and Celts and Burgundians and uh, Francs. Uh, they broke into, they splintered into different groups. All these people came out of ancient Israel through Assyria. The Jews, after the deportation of the Israelites, went into these abandoned areas because it was violent. The Assyrians came in and took man, woman, and child, took them, took them out, and deported them to to the Assyrian frontiers. Uh, and the Jews basically got to go into all these cities and libraries and just take all this shit. And one thing the Assyrians didn't take is they were just looking for gold and silver and, and, and stuff. They did not care about the scrolls of the Israelites. The Jews came in and took all these holy writings from Kadesh and from all these, these holy places and they rewrote them and put Jewish Jewish prophet names on them. And then they borrowed a bunch of sagas and epics like the Sargonid, the Sargonid epic about Moses being born in a basket, put in a basket and put on a river. They stole that from ancient Babylon. That was an Akkadian story about Sargon of Akkad and how he was born of an Inaitu priestess and put into a basket on a river. The Jews had done this over and over and over with people. Uh, taking all their traditions and all their legend and put them in together. But the reason it resonates with so many people because there's real Israelite spiritual material all throughout the Old Testament. It's just been bastardized into a, a, a Jewish context.